All right. Welcome, everybody. Happy Sunday. Uh, for those of you in the United States, we're celebrating the 4th of July weekend. So I'm sure lots of people are at the beach and at lakes and having a good time. Um, but thank you for those who were around and were able to get on and for people all over the world. Welcome to the Sunday call. So if you are new to these calls, uh, my name is Kelly Kladney, and I've been channeling the Angel Raphael uh, since 1989. And over the years, I've received a lot of information and have really talked about this moment that we're in right now, that we're really in right now, that we're all going through this transition. And I think everybody on the planet in one way or another is definitely feeling it. So a couple of weeks ago, um, I got woken up in the middle of the night, as I often do, and got a pretty intense download and really received information about us moving into a whole new state of being and really choosing love over fear as we go through this transition and shifting into and calibrating to the new earth. Um, and in order to do that, really activating inside of us different parts of ourselves that have been asleep for a really long time. That's why we're always talking about waking up, right? It's remembering who we are at our essence and our core level. So I received these 33 codes and they're all really beautiful and different. And we're going to start with the earth key code. And I'm going to show you a picture about that. And I'm going to welcome uh, Casey's partner. Casey is unable to be on the call today. And so we're very lucky to have Marielle with us. And she's going to be hosting the call and asking questions. Hey, Marielle. Hi, Kelly. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to be here and such a beautiful synchronicity. Yeah, it was crazy, right? Yeah, so I was yeah. On the call with Casey about an hour ago, and he said, hey, mom, I've got friends from out of town. Would it be okay if I missed the call? And Marielle was like, I'll jump on. I was like, oh, my God, that would be perfect. And uh, Marielle and Casey, or Marielle especially, have been living in Guatemala. And then we received recently that the Earth Star, um, the new Earth Star, has been activated and implanted in the lake right where they were in Guatemala. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yes. Oh my goodness. When, when you shared that with me, I was like, of course, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, living there for the past uh, three years, um, there was this energy of effortless groundedness. It was so effortless to be grounded there. The energy of the earth is so loud there with the lake and the volcanoes and the Mayan culture that is in constant honoring of the earth and the keepers of the fire and the keepers of the water and the keepers of the earth are in constant prayer and honoring. So when you share that, I was like, it makes so much sense. There's this energy of almost like the divine mother constantly hugging you and not having to do much work to feel really grounded. It's really effortless to, to feel grounded and fully in the earth and present when the energy of the earth is so alive there. Mm, yeah, it's amazing. And I could really feel it in Marielle. I met her for the last time uh, last week and really walks her talk and has calibrated to that vibration of being connected to the earth. And, you know, when we went to a park, really, truly hugging the trees and praying over her food and being grounded and taking off the shoes and being connected and all the things that we all know to do. And yet in our busy, distracted lives, um, it's easy to go back to old behaviors, old habits and disregard those things that we know. So we're going to tune into all that today. But before we do that, I want to show you an image and I'm going to share my screen. So bear with me here that it works. Okay. And let's share sound as well. And I, hopefully you guys can see that okay. So somebody in our community, her name is Debashree, and she lives in India um, and has been part of our classes now for quite some time, is this incredible artist. And when I thought of the 30, when the 33 codes came in, I thought, oh, it would be wonderful to have artwork to go with each code that calibrates the vibration of the code. And so she's been making one for each code, and this is the first one. 
And I think it's really beautiful because without me sharing with her the information I've been receiving about the code and what's happening with it, she came up with this and it's a beautiful reflection. So if you look at the imagery there, you'll see that we have Metatron's cube um, up at the top where the, the, the human figure is kind of holding it kind of like a disc. And Metatron's cube is the building block of the universe. Um, it's the, the vibration of all of creation itself. And within it are the five platonic solids that you see coming down from the pranic tube underneath there. And the final platonic solid is the cube and the cube then is dropping into the earth. And for those of you who took the Surfing the Tsunami course with me, we worked with the five platonic solids and talked a lot about the cube, which is this energy that we're born with that anchors us into the earth and is a record keeper of our life. But as I've been working with the codes, Raphael's talking now about, in addition to that anchoring in the cube, there's an, our, our original earth star, there's a second earth star that's being and it turned on and we're working to uh, collectively activate to move into higher frequencies into the new earth. And in the imagery, we have uh, the Merkaba there, which is holding, which is the representation of the earth star grounded in the earth. We have, it looks like an Aborigine indigenous, beautiful energy using the didgeridoo and uh, sending messages into the earth star. And then we've got energies from the uh, animal kingdom, uh, the wolf and the horse, we've got the birds, the owl, and the dolphins, the turtles, and the whales. And so then you see this opening in the sense of the earth. And on many levels, that's what we're doing. We're going to be working first with the earth star. And then in a couple of weeks, we're going to go in and begin to work with the star seed origins or the star origin code. Because we want to have the base energy and the the higher etheric energy to create like a sphere to contain all of the codes in. So let me stop sharing that. Okay. So I just want to show you that because to give you kind of a visual of what we're doing and why we're doing it. And I also want to explain the process. So I know we moved over from uh, just sending this out on Zoom to a new platform. And I really wanna make sure that all of you are members, whether you're a free member, which is totally great and fine, meaning you have access to the Sunday and Wednesday call, um, fabulous. Or if you're a, uh, a light worker, you're gonna have uh, access to all the replays we've ever done and the replays um, of the activations and the actual activation itself. And then we're going to, and we'll let people know, but we're going to eliminate the Starseed membership because it's getting too cumbersome. And you guys can either go into the Lightworker or the IM. But for those of you who feel called to really delve into each code in depth, I really highly recommend joining the IM membership. And it's a commitment because it's every day. You work with me every day um, during the week at 9 a.m. And then if you can't get on the call or you're working, you get the replays. But we're going to go really into depth into each code and do the activations. And the more people in the community that are holding it, the better. If that's too much time or too much resources for you, but you're like, gosh, I really want to do like the light language code, or I really want to do the earth star code, or I really want to delve into um, reclaiming parts of self or personal power or forgiveness, or let's say the timekeeper uh, or the council of light or the pineal gland, something's really clicking and you're like, that code is so important for me. Then we've created this option where you can join the IM membership just for two weeks while we're doing that code. And after each Sunday call, I'll send out a link and say, say you want to delve into the earth star more and you want to do it for two weeks and you can buy the program for just two weeks. It's like 10, 10 or 12 hours of teachings and meditations and preparing and attuning to that code rather than if you're not wanting to do a long-term membership. So we were trying to have options for everybody so that from free all the way up to how much you really want to delve in. Okay. I just want to explain that because I know some people were asking and it was a little confusing. All right. I didn't realize my pillow is up here. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to bring in Raphael and we, um, we are just going to delve in today. So 
Today is going to be an overview of the code, and then I'm going to work with the IM members and Ascended Masters for two weeks on prayer, meditation, connecting, and preparing. And then in two weeks, we will have the activation. And uh, for members, you'll get the replay or the, the live activation. And, um, and that's the plan. So let's all tap in and see what comes through. I have a feeling of different energies coming in today other than Raphael. So let's see what happens. Mm. <clears throat> <sighs> I'm gonna turn off my mic so it doesn't interfere with the sound as I tone right back. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, 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 hello. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. 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 We need to mute. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. It is delightful to attune to all of your energy and to be with you in this way. Okay. delighted to be here and to attune to your energy for there is a lot going on and taking place at this time as the elevation of frequency is beginning to speed up and much is occurring especially this week that is going to catapult things into a whole new level and so it is of great importance for you to be attuned to the highest aspect of who it is that you are and to remain centered and to be grounded, and to be focused, uh, and to be prepared. And so it is that I am here today as Archangel Raphael to love and adore who it is you are. But there is an <coughs> energy that, that is here today and is present, and we're going to give it a moment to adjust as it is uh, calibrating to this one to speak to all of you in this way. It is that I may have to translate for this energy as we will be merging the energies to assimilate with the vibration of the vessel Kelly that we are uh, using with her permission at this time. Hello. <gasps> I come to you from your distant past, uh, for some of you remember me and some of you have forgotten my ways. So, for it is that I will talk to you today as White Feather or the Great White Tail Hawk, uh, if you prefer this name, for it doesn't matter what name it is that I share with you, for I am your elder when it comes to the Great Mother. I come to you on behalf of the Great Mother, and I come to you from the indigenous ones uh, across your globe, whether they be of my tribe, of the Hopi, or the Navajo, 
or they come from the Mayan culture, as you have spoken of, or the great Aborigines, or the ones from the stars. Uh, we come with a message for you, and we come in honoring and love. For what we have to say right now may seem a bit harsh or may feel like a scorching or a reprimanding, and yet we do not mean it in this way, but we come with a sense of urgency to you and a plea and a call in your hearts. For it is that your great mother is feeling sorrow in pain within her womb and her being and is transforming herself to begin anew. Many of you hear and understand this to be the calling of a new earth and a new way of being. There is an opening happening for some, you may think of it or feel it as a portal. And as you pass through this time continuum energy through this portal and this vibration, you will find yourself standing on a path, one to the left and one to the right, and a choice point of timelines will appear. You all will choose the line and the energy to move in the direction of a higher frequency, as I know deep within my heart and I trust within you that you will choose love over fear. And yet the fear across your planet will rise and the division will become stronger. The polarization will become clearer and more divided. But do not be fooled by this, for this is a distraction. This distraction has an agenda and an opinion, for it wants to keep you from remembering who you are. It wants to delve you in and pit you against one another and to see your own fellow beings as your enemy. For they may have a structure or an idea or a belief that may differ from you. But beneath the surface of that belief structure, form, and personality is the essence of love, of who they are, that is no different than you, for you are webbed together in a beautiful spider web of light built of love. And it is that you are attuned and connected to the earth. And there was a great time across your planet when you forgot this and many crossed the shores onto the continent that you know of North America and came from places of distant land and thought you knew better than we as a tribe and the energy of the Navajo and the Hopi and the Lenape and so on. And you came and you looked at us and you thought, oh, you savages, you beastly ones, we know what is right. And and you slaughtered my family and my children and my land. Uh, and you took away from me everything that I had. And I was left in the dry desert with nothing to feed those that I loved as alcoholism and a sense of deprivation and suicide rose amongst my people. But we knew there would be a time in which you would come back to where we were. You would knock on our door and you would tell us that you are in trouble because the way in which you acted and behaved for so long could not go on, for we knew that you forgot to honor the land and the water, the fire and the air. You forgot the ones that walked with four legs that flew above in the sky and walked as insects along the ground. You forgot about the trees and the grass and the soaring above. And we knew there would be a time in which you would ask for us to teach you and to remind you of who you are. And so you come knocking now on our door and we open it graciously to you. For we know beneath the structure of the pain and the ego of separation and polarization in your heart is great love. And so we are here today to help you and to honor you. You see, we know within our kin across the globe what is happening, for we feel the rumbling beneath the sea and the rumbling and the cracking and the drying of the land and of the water and the reservoir and the rising of the tide and the fire. But we know that within there, there is a message from the mother for she cries out to you and asks for you to remember her. And do not lose faith, my dear ones, for it 
will be all right, for you are going through a great reawakening and transition, and you may be shaken to your core, but in that you will bow in the sacredness to her once again and remember who you are. For after you go through this dark tunnel of transition and tiredness uh, and uh, separation, you will be birthed into a new light and peace will reign across the globe and on your earth for a very long time. Many of you talk about this new place as the new earth being built and we want you to know it is already formed, it is there and it is here. And we are there in spirit and form as the beings of light from across are waiting for all of you. But Mother Earth is rebirthing herself, and in that process, she says to you, I can only invite those who I can trust this time not to rape and pull from me my oils and my lubricants, not to take all of my resources to depletion and to forget about me and desecrate me. And so you are being asked now to return to the ways of remembering and the sacredness and the bowing to the earth. And so I come with this message to tell you that you are being birthed into a new form. And you are here listening to this because you knew about this at a time would come across your globe when things would begin to change and shift. And you were called by the earth. You were invited for you got a first class invitation to be here in this time. And you accepted for you are the light warriors and the beings of love who have come to spear the head of opening and to create the change as you move into the new earth. And so in order to calibrate to her frequency, you must bow to her and prove in a sense to her that you love her, which may require some uncomfortability and some changing of your ways, some willingness to honor her, to take time to be with her in the presence of now. For we will work with you in the coming weeks so that you will have a new name, for you have the name that you were born to, the name given to you at birth, and yet you will have a name that will carry you across the winds and the whispers of the feathers of light into the new earth. And this particular name will be arisen within you as you attune back to the kingdom of the plants and the crystals, the minerals and the animals, the ones that fly above and the beauty of all in front of you. And so we come and ask of you to go back out to her and to feel her in a way you haven't before, and that when you take from her, whatever it may be, large or small, that you give an offering back, that you say, I take this from you, but I honor and know in the exchange I hand back to you, for she needs your love and your prayers. For many of you know yourselves to be healers and know yourselves to be the ones who have arrived at this time to do works and to bring crystals and plants and medicine, to bring things into the earth and to send her love and she needs that love today more than ever before. So we call upon all of you to go out to the earth, uh, to put your feet in her creek, in her lake, to swim in her ocean's waters, uh, to bring her soil into your hand and to hold it, to see the worm moving about. Uh, to pick up the spider or the ant and to love it with reverence and see its interconnectedness to everything that is, to hold the tree and to walk barefoot in the sand and in her grass, uh, to rise in the morning and see her sun as it sets and to go to bed as the sun begins to set, uh, to attune to the rhythms again of the earth and the feeling, to feel the whispers of her call, because you will need this knowing, this discernment, this intuitive sense. You will need your pulse upon her land to feel when something is shifting or coming. You will need to know the ways that we were able as Hopis to grow in the great time of the desert in the place in which there was enough water corn. For we had ancient teachings and understandings that came from the stars, sisters, and brothers, but also from deep within our heart as we were so attuned to her that we knew. We knew when the water would rise and the fire would come, we moved to higher land for we could hear as we could attune to the animals as they shared with us their messages. And they may seem in a distant past far from the city where you may dwell, but they 
are right there if you pay attention, for you must begin to attune again to the birds in the sky and the four-legged ones and the insects and the reptiles and the dolphins and the whales, for they have things to say. And as you intend and invite them to arrive and to come, they may come out of nowhere flying in front of your car as you drive or bringing themselves to make a hooting sound at night as you sleep or the crickets in the summer air and attune to them and listen for they have messages and ways of teaching that you have forgotten and they will show you as you begin to recalibrate yourself to them. For you somehow forgot that they are a part of you and you them thinking you were more important and that you had domain over them, that you were greater and less than, and you created this sense of hierarchy. But this will not do anymore, my dear friends, for it is time now to bow to her. And so when you were born, you were born with a cube, and in this cube was a record of your life, and just like the tree around the ring of a tree that is cut, you can see the many years it has lived. It is the same for you, my dear ones, for you were born, and there is an energy for Metatron's cube that was given as a gift, and it moves down into the earth, and it records every word that was spoken, every action, and every deed, every thought, every feeling, everything you saw and have done. And there is no judgment in it, for nothing is good or bad or right or wrong, for it all is what it is and was meant to be. But in this record, it is an anchoring that brings you down into the earth. But you see beneath that is your earth star. And for those who are born and live on the land, who sleep outside and look at the stars, for those who drink from the water's edge and pick their food from their yard, it is those dear ones that their star, my seed one, is activated and clear, allowing them to feel centered and grounded and prepared. But if you have forgotten the ways of the earth and you are in a hurry all the time, if you do not honor or see your food or bless your water, if you are so busy that you have not had time to be out uh, amongst the woods and the grasses, uh, if you have not looked up lately at the star night to see beyond where you are, it is that your star becomes deactivated, almost calcified like the pineal gland, and it begins to shrink and become deactivated. And with that, it severs you from your connection and your nourishment that you fed and given to you through the earth. And so it is time to replenish it, to nourish it, and to bring the light back down by loving her. And so those who have been born in a culture who still walk on the land, who are still attuned to the nature and the spirits and the plant medicine, their stars are clean and strong and activated within the earth. And that is what is needed of you today and now. And that is is what I call upon you to do, to activate your stars and a willingness to attune to the earth. And in doing so, you are opening up a space within the star that is there to open into the new earth star that is being planted right now, for it is beneath you and ready to ascend into the new earth, but it must be activated within each of you as you make your choice point upon the timeline. So I say to you, my dear ones, it's time now to return to knock on the door of the great white hawk, and I will come to you and say hello, and I will show you my ways of listening to the birds in the sky and what they have to say, for sometimes perhaps I will fly as the white eagle hawk, and I will be to the right, and as I come into you as you drive down the road, I will approach from the right, and I will begin to slow, and perhaps I will make a squawking or a sound. Do not ignore me, but pay attention for I have a warning I may be showing you to slow down and look to the right as something may be approaching you and saving you from something ahead and as you begin to notice these symbols and these signs as we come to you for we may come in the form of the winged ones and the feathers or we may come as a cat purring on your lap we may arrive as the cricket in the summer or the firefly or the cardinal in the snow for we do not know how we will come but we are are there and we are always there and you may say I am not near you I don't notice you I don't remember you where are you and we say to you if you pay attention and you are quiet and you look and you listen 
We are always here. We are always knocking at your door. We are always there for you. For you may be in a concrete jungle deep in the city, beneath the, the water and under the earth. And even there, we will find our way to you for we have messages to share and awakenings. And as you intend to hear us, we will give to you our knowing and we will show you the way as you reattune to our energy and our vibration. So offer to us, whether it be the pipe uh, or that uh, of something that you may smoke, uh, hand it to us and to the earth and we shall come to you. For when you eat your food, you may bow in sacredness to me. And when it is that you drink your water, you may bow in sacredness to me. And when it is that you breathe your air, you may bow in sacredness to me. And when you walk upon the land, wherever you may go, you may bow in sacredness to me. And when you light the fire to cook your food, you may bow in sacredness to me. And when you hear the thunder and the rain in the sky, you may bow in sacredness to me. And when you wake and the sun rises and brings light upon you, you may bow in sacredness to me. For I am everywhere if you pay attention, for I am in everything and anything and everything that is everywhere. And so I come to you as the great white tail hawk. I blend my energy with Raphael to speak with you as best I can. But I come not as only myself as the great chief of my tribe, but I come with those behind me in droves as we walk toward you and ask you to bow to us. For it is time to put aside your sense of disconnection and selfishness. It is time to return to where it is that I am. To take that extra effort in the little things to honor me. For you see, you might say, well, all hope has been lost. For we are on a trajectory of great devastation. And I say to you, but no. For the earth is moving at a rapid pace toward her ascension and you may ride with her on that wave or you may distract yourself enough to detach into another realm. And that is all right if you choose to do that for many will leave your planet soon for all are not brave and strong and courageous enough to stay during this change. But for those who are, I tell you, as you bow and activate your earth star, Returning to the indigenous ways and listening to the words of your elders, uh, you will be able to transition through this process with grace and with ease as you watch it unfold from a place from above, as you soar along and see it happening, knowing the divinity and the perfection as you rise into the time of the golden era of peace. So, so my dear children, do not lose hope or feel afraid. There is nothing here to fear as long as you are not dropping into fear itself. For we ask you to choose within yourself and those in which you see love in your heart as you bow down in sacredness again to my dear mother, knowing that in that your star will be activated. And so as a blended energy of Raphael and the great white tail hawk of the Hopi energy of light, you may ask of me if there is something more you want to know before I say good night. Thank you so much. Um, why do so many people feel scattered and unfocused right now and find it hard to ground, even in spending time in nature? Ah, oh, well, it, it, it is that they need more time in nature because it is that one might think if they take a walk or two that that is enough, but it is not for you should be think about the time of when it was that I lived uh, as the great white hawk of the Indian tribe of the natives uh, of Hopi. For when I lived, I was always merged with nature. 
for I was never in the concrete or the metal or the energy of separation, for my being was always on the ground. I slept on the ground, and when I woke, I heard the singing of the birds, and I could hear the river and its edge. I would waken in the morning and flap open the energy of where I was to see the sun rise. Uh, I could feel the pulsation of the earth uh, and look to the clouds in the sky and to know it was ahead as I went out to forage for my food and bring it back for my family. And it is that that type of connection has been so lost. Uh, and so many of you feel, well, I took a walk today. And that may not be enough, for it is that the Earth's pulsation of her electromagnetic field is weaker than it was, for she has been depleted. And so in order to uh, calibrate to her energy, you need to spend more and more time with her. And so many of you are scattered and feeling ungrounded because you are so busy in the mind, disconnected from the heart, disconnected from the earth, so worried about your future or the things you have to get done and thinking that you have to do those things and do not have time to be in nature. But I tell you, if you spend time getting up earlier and out with Mother Earth and connected to her, your time will accentuate, it will grow, it will elongate itself, and you will be more centered and grounded and capable of doing much more in shorter periods of time. Your tasks will become easier and more graceful. You will forget less. You will have more clarity. And so it seems so simple to spend time with me, with nature, with the earth, and yet how easy it is to be distracted into the black box and the distractions. And we don't like to speak of other energies because, of course, there is nothing other than you, for it is all a part of you. But there are other vibrations of a denser quality that have a hidden, in a sense or not, so hidden agenda to keep you polarized, separated, and distracted from self. And so when you are present fully and completely with the earth, completely with her for a period of time without distraction, literally it fills your vessel with energy and with light and with the capacity to reattune to her rhythms and to hear her call and to find your way. And so my dear children, you find yourself distracted and ungrounded. You find yourself all over the place and unable to focus. And the medicine and the remedy for that is to go and to reconnect completely and fully with the trees and the moss and the grass and the rivers and the ocean and the sand to attune and to feel and to invite the animal kingdom to come in wherever it is that you are. For it may be the simplicity of a squirrel going up the tree tree or a bird uh, going overhead, but begin to attune and say hello and pay attention and honor and connect as simple as it could even be the pest of a fly about your food, attuning to its energy and the consciousness uh, of those interconnected in the web of life with you will return you to a new framework that is of absolute complete necessity in order to calibrate to the new earth and to move through this transition with ease, and for there will be a time in which in the future timelines, you will be forced to connect more with the earth because you will be moving more and more collectively into communities. You will be moving into creating your own food in smaller groups. You will be going back to the earth. You will be going back to the ways in which we have lived before. And so the more you can get ahead of that, the more you can begin to implement that, the more you can begin to practice that and to pay attention to that, the easier this transition for all of you shall be. Thank you so much. So as we deepen 
our connection with the earth, would that reflect into our connection with our body? The more we feel at home with the earth, would we also feel more at home in, home in our bodies? Yes, of course. <laughs> we are so glad that you asked of this because it is that your body is made of the earth for it is made up of water in the earth. It is made up of the dust of the earth. You come from and are connected to the earth. And when you are in the mind and in the distraction and in the concrete, there is this disconnection from the earth and of course then from the body. And the dishonoring of Mother Earth is the mirrored reflection, of course, of the dishonoring and the forgiveness getting of the body. And that is why so many are feeling such health crisis across your globe, so much obesity, so much disease, so much pain, because the honoring of her, meaning the great mother, and the honoring of you as a collective body are mirrored as one, for they cannot be separated. And so when you love her, you love yourself. And when you love your body, you love her, for they are, of course, all one and the same. And just as within your body, there are sacred points, many of you may call them chakras, to be honored within the heart and the throat and the solar plexus. These sacred spots also are upon the earth, and they are to be honored, and they have been contaminated, and in many regards, even poisoned and shut down as she is opening new centers for the new earth, because it is that these are power spots. And we, as the great white hawk energy is returning to speak now, we'll take a moment to calibrate where this is an integration of these two energies today. We knew of the power spots on the earth and we went to them in reverence for we would fast before we arrived. We would cleanse our body and our soul. We would prepare and we would call out to the land. We would ask the land, may we come and be with you? And if we did not get an invitation or a call or a sign from the animal kingdom, we would re remain behind as others of our brothers and sisters would forage ahead to the great power spots. There are great centers across your globe. Many of you call these power centers or the chakras of the earth. Some are very known to you and popular, but in their popularity and the unwillingness to treat them with great reverence, some have become contaminated and filled with disease and illness and energy portals and openings to energies that are not of the highest calibration. We are working from the higher realms to recalibrate this and bring them back to center. But as we call upon all of you to return to the earth, we also ask that if you feel a calling from Mother Earth, a feeling inside where she beckons and calls you to a place that is far away, call and listen to what she says and go to her, for you are holding a frequency that must go to a power spot to lay upon it something or to pray or to send your energy for rebalancing. For some of these places you are familiar with, uh, as they are the ones of Stonehenge or Lady Titicaca or Mount Shasta or Easter Island or Uluru or the Great Lake in Guatemala, for instance, where they are centers across your globe, creating a web of interconnectedness. And some of them are shifting and moving a bit as they are recalibrating now to the new earth. But we want to remind you that as you listen to and honor and move back into your body, you may hear the body of the earth and she may come to you in the night or in a dream and call to you and ask you to 
go to a place. And if you can and do not have the resources, ask for her to provide them, and she will. For something synchronistic or unexpected will happen, allowing you to take your voyage to this place. And know that those who are listening to this call right now, there are some of you who know what I am saying. And so listen to it and trust in that, for it is nothing special that you have to do. Perhaps when you get there, you will simply sing a song, or you will spread some ashes, or you will plant a crystal, or you will simply bow and pray. But it is something within the coding of your DNA, the vibration in which you carry in your body when you love and honor the body of the sacred power spot of the earth. It matches up with the power within you as you create an intertwining connection together, lighting something up inside. So for those of you who know of this and are hearing what I am saying, I come to you personally to encourage you to listen. Wow, thank you so much. Um, one more question. So if Lake Atitlan um, has the earth start and is known to be the womb of the world, would honoring the earth have to do with honoring more of the feminine energy or embodying more, um, welcoming in more the embodiment of feminine energy? Yes. For you see, it is that there is no coincidence that you were there on this lake and that you embody the divine feminine and hold the energy of the womb. You have come now to North America to do your work here for you are planting seeds that you are not consciously aware of that are sprouting as it matches and mixes with the divine masculine to bring forth a birthing of something new. It is not something tangible that you know, but it is prepared preparing you for something that is arriving. It is, of course, that we ask of you and are delighted to know that you carry this on a personal level, this vibration of the womb of the divine feminine, and it is the rising of this divine energy that will rebalance the old ways of the old earth. For the old and original intent of the earth chakra, very much balanced in order between the symmetry of the divine feminine and masculine in its beauty was ripped out as the divine masculine expanded and expanded and expanded and expanded and became more and more out of balance as you moved into the left hemisphere of the brain and into the logic and uh, began to move so far away from the earth. And now the recalibration and the rising of the divine feminine is occurring. And that is why within the key codes, there is the divine feminine and masculine that must come back into balance now and recalibrate itself in order to birth the new earth. And as you personally and collectively as a group carry this divine feminine energy, you are literally birthing the new earth. And with that, it lies within the earth star that comes and has already been implanted within this great lake within Guatemala, for it lives there and it radiates out from this space its light and the pulsation of the earth and the feeling of home is a welcoming that occurs there. And it is a very great and powerful spot, a power center, as the great Hopi spoke of a moment ago. But no, it is important not for many to go and to flock there unless they are truly called, because it is also important to contain these spaces as they emanate their vibration, but do not want to be contaminated by the thinking mind. And so unless the soul is fully and completely called to arrive, it is best to know that it has already been activated there and it is on its own generating the energy needed to amplify the divine feminine and open the womb for the birthing of the new earth across the globe. So with that, I send to all of you my blessings and my love. I am very delighted that I was able to merge today with the great white tail hawk 
and that we could communicate in this way. When our energy merges, the way we speak may change a bit from different from me as Raphael, but together as one, we come to you with this message of love and know that there is nothing to fear, that you are perfectly on the trajectory of light, that you are ascending into a higher dimension, and that the call that came to you today was just awakening and a remembering of the ancient and indigenous ways that are nature and natural, the way you had lived before. And all we have come to ask of you is to begin to implement them and return to them and bring them back into your daily life. Um, and with that, we shall work together for several weeks to begin to merge this energy, to amplify it, to working with the Ascended Masters, lighting it up um, until we move fully into the activation in the community of the collective vibrating, complete opening and awakening of the Earth Star Key Code. Many blessings and good day. All right. Well, thanks, guys. That was interesting as that energy came in it was really like blending with Raphael's energy it was beautiful so thank you so much um for joining and um next week actually we're going to work with Marielle and the divine feminine and calling in partners and working with that energy that will be beautiful and if you want to continue with the earth star activation we're going to work with receiving a name for the new earth and really grounding in and activating our earth star chakra so i'll send out a link in the replay if you want to work with me for two weeks with the group um, other than that the im members will be doing that and then we'll gather with all of you again and tell you what happened and share it with you